We'll start with election night in Hampton Roads. Not every community voted, but today's elections mean a lot to the cities and towns that did. Besides city council and school boards across the area, two local cities elected mayors. And 10 of your sides, Lauren Compton's live in Norfolk now. And Lauren, you talked to the candidates there and in Hampton about their cities going forward. I did, Tom, and they each say that they have some big plans for their city, everything from improving schools to improving the economy. But before we get to that, I want to give you the latest results of, the, of those mayoral races that we followed. With nearly all precincts responding, Mayor Paul Frame wins with 72% of the vote, so he will stay in office. In Hampton, with nearly all precincts reporting, Mayor George Wallace won by 64%. And we caught up with some of those candidates as those numbers were coming in. Validation of the direction of the city is there. In Norfolk, once again, Paul Frame clinched the mayoral election. He celebrated with friends and supporters at Quads in Norfolk. Well, I've been doing it a while, and it feels just as good this time as it did the, you know, the very first time. I've been in elected office 28 years now. I'm still passionate about this city. You know, I still love what I do as mayor. He says this term he wants to focus on working with the school system and helping the city's less fortunate. The great recession that we just went through was very tough on some of our community. You know, I mean, these are our poorest neighbors and we're going to we're going to do something to try to make their life better. Things were more somber at the campaign headquarters for challenger Michael Muhammad. He and another candidate, Jane Bethel, went against frame in the Norfolk mayoral race. Though Mohammed lost, he vows to keep working in the community. We will continue to work to see that former felons have an opportunity to have jobs in the workplace. We'll work to see that college education is across the board in the city of Norfolk. We'll work to see a decrease in the violence and the tension that exists in communities in Norfolk. In Hampton, there was a special mayoral election to fill the seat once held by Molly Ward. Vice Mayor George Wallace was appointed shortly after. Tonight, he faced Frank Ottafaro Jr. at the polls. We talked to Wallace just as the numbers were coming in over the phone. He says in his term he wants to look for ways to add additional housing in the Hampton area and developing the Hampton waterfront. We wanted to, to put some definition on the development that we're going to, that's going to take place in the downtown Hampton waterfront. We want to do what we can to enhance the opportunities that we have in the technology quarter part at Magruder Boulevard. And Mayor McKinley Price in Newport News ran unopposed. Reporting live in Norfolk, Lauren Compton, 10 on your side. And a number of city council and school board seats up for grabs in the metro as well. You voted in Newport News, Chesapeake and Hampton, and in Norfolk, voters picked council members in wards 3, 4, and 5. All of those results, along with the surrounding communities, are scrolling right now at the bottom of your screen. Getting tonight's election results for you wasn't that easy. They come from the State Board of Elections, and the board told 10 on your side it experienced technical issues with some communities, and we're finding out now that it's still happening. Officials say they're working to fix it, but we will see a lag in results with some smaller communities. Meantime, turnout was light today in Hampton Roads and North Carolina. Election officials in Norfolk tell us there weren't many people at the polls. We saw very few at the Larchmont Library Precinct. We are still waiting for official turnout numbers.